I am Maria Mitchell and this is Steve Mitchell and we've been married 21 years and we met uh, when we were young, 21 and 22, and we knew right away that uh, we knew that we knew that this was, uh, we were supposed to get married and that we fell in love right away when we met each other. And um, it's been a long road since then. And um, after knowing each other all this time, there's still things to learn about marriage. Why don't you take it from me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say that in the beginning, it was um, just an overwhelming feeling of, of uh, being in love. It was actually into quite intoxicating. And, you know, of course, it never, it, it does kind of ebb and flow, you know, that the feeling ebb and flows, but there's something underneath that remains constant. And it, it I, I suppose you could call it a friendship. I'm not exactly sure what the word for it is, but I think that a, a good foundation for a marriage is a, is a friendship. And I, I, I was talking to a, a, a guy that was married for over 40 years one time, and he had a happy marriage. And he said to me, um, the secret to his marriage was laughter, just to be able to laugh mm -hmm. together. And so, I mean, I think you have to be able to laugh at yourselves. I think mm -hmm. it's an important thing and, and laugh. And each other. And each other <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as, as much as possible. It's just, I think it's just healthy, yeah. you know, to, to not take life and things too seriously, you know, together. Because life can get intense. Yeah. So, but getting back to a the point that I was making before, I think that a good foundation for marriage is a friendship. Um, and sometimes that means you don't always have to be talking to each other. Sometimes we can just be quiet for long periods mm -hmm. of time together. And being quiet together is a bonding experience. Mm -hmm. Talking together is a bonding experience. Right now, and just recently we had some conflicts over the last few months. and when we realized what the root of the conflicts were, uh, they were the same repeated things. It was, and it happened to be me this time, um, making just decisions. Some of them were big and some of them were small. And they were just decisions that I made without talking to Steve. And um, Steve tends to be more the type that talks to me before he makes a decision. Um, what's the term you use? Um when you make a decision on your own? Unilateral. Yes. I was making a lot of unilateral decisions. And like I said, they were big and they were small. And they all happened from about May until about two, three weeks ago. And um, they really brought, I, I saw that it brought bad fruit, that it, it wound up being a couple little disasters along mm. the way. And um, Steve, in a gentle way, just said, you know, you've made these decisions unilateral, unilaterally, mm -hmm. and, you know, if you had just checked with me and talked to me, maybe these things wouldn't have happened. And so, you know, I knew that before, that there is a power in agreement, that there's a power in unity, being on the same page, um, just getting buy-in from each other. Are you on board with this? And yet, I, I don't really know why I fell into that trap, but I did. And it, it really produced some conflicts and from some tough things that we had to endure. And so that was a little life lesson that um, I'm really making a conscious effort not to do that again because the results weren't good. And, and, I, and we feel so strongly, uh, uh, I feel so strongly about that approach in marriage that if I am um, feeling to launch in some decision and if, Mar if Marie is not, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. You know, even though I, I'm feeling to do it, I think it's probably a good idea. But if she's not on board with me, I won't do it. And so throughout throughout our 21-year journey, there's been many things where I, you know, may have felt like doing and thought maybe it was a good idea. But if she's not on board with me, I'm not going to do it because it's just not worth it. I feel, in my estimation, that that... I don't know how to word this, but there is an old expression, the end justifies the means. But I don't feel that God agrees with that. God is very much into the means. Um, 
to bring of course you know god is concerned about the end of course but the the means means just as much to god i feel as the end how you go about decision making and how you navigate through life you know to do things unilaterally on your own i just don't think that's that's god's approach so uh, so just so we can give you a little background to that, um, just two months ago, we were looking to buy some bedroom furniture for our sons, and we had specific things that we were going to buy that they were interested in, a specific type of furniture. And um, we had been looking online and checking, and all of a sudden I got a phone call from a friend in a different state, and she said, hey, by the way, uh, my son, who lives not too far from you, um, needs to move because he's going to be a missionary and um, he has this brand and this type of furniture and it was the exact furniture that our boys were looking at and she said if you want it you just have to go pick it up and so I mean that seemed like God and it seemed like a no-brainer and so I said yes that's what we'll do I'll have Steve rent a truck and we're gonna do it and so she said, well, it has to be picked up in the next 48 hours. And I said, well, that's not a problem. And so I told Steve, this is what we're doing. And, you know, he just quietly kind of sat there and thought, you know, I don't know if we're supposed to do this. And I thought, well, why in the world not? It's like, this seems like God to me. And, um, you know, God's just giving us this furniture. And he said, yeah, I, I just don't think that, uh, you know, this is going to work out well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so the story went, we went and rented a truck and, and, you know, well, we didn't go, I went and rented the <laughs> truck. So it was basically kind of Maria's idea, and then I, I um, executed the idea. Um, so I went, we went and rented the truck, it was far too big for, um, for what we needed, and, you know, of course, we traveled across the George Washington bridge again I say we but I meant me <laughs> across the George Washington Bridge and uh, you know the um, it just was the day from, uh, from not one, heaven from yeah the day from <laughs> the place that's not heaven exactly <laughs> and so the end so result was I, I might have aged 15 <laughs> years in about eight hours the exact furniture when we priced it out it would have cost less money to buy it brand new then it cost with the tolls, the fees, the extra charges, uh, the penalties for not having an easy pass that was for that truck. Um, and so the end result was it actually was a little bit more expensive doing it that yeah. way than purchasing the exact furniture from Ikea brand new. And so, um, and it was in the midst of a very busy season for us, so just losing the entire day for Steve. And so Maria was not my favorite person <laughs> for that like I guess it was a sort of an 8 hour period. She was not my favorite person in the whole world. So suffice it to say. That's just one minor example, um, but it was a season of of that and probably two other decisions that were actually more major. And I guess my reasoning was for some of the other major decisions, it was something I chose to do. And I thought, well, this is my decision. This is what I'm doing. But, you know, you don't take into uh, account that when you're married, nothing that you do on your own really affects just you because you are one. So everything Steve chooses to do affects me and vice versa. And you would think after 21 years I would get that. But I got it this time. Um, I tend to be a little bit of a... Um, a strong personality so when I feel to do something I go out and do it and this life lesson taught me that yeah. you know we're one God joined us together um, for a purpose for many purposes and there's wisdom and in the counsel of your spouse but I think Maria brings out a good point in the 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 oneness aspect is you no longer really think like two people anymore you think like one person Mm -hmm. So when a decision is made, it's it's not a decision of just the husband or just the spouse. It's 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 both of us are making this decision. I mean that's the way to that's the way to navigate through. It's the best way to navigate through marriage, in, mm -hmm. in my estimation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs>